If You Lived Here, Houses of the World by Giles LaRocque If you lived here in this dog trot log house, you would have to step outside to get from your bedroom to the kitchen. Your family's sleeping area would be in one section of the house, while the kitchen and living area would be in the other. Between the two sections would be an open hall with a floor where a dog could sleep or an opossum could scurry through. If you lived here, so could you. If you lived here on this snowy mountain, you could shelter sheep, goats and cows in your family's chalet. With as many as four floors, a chalet is much larger than the American dog trot log house. Your animals would live on the ground level while you and your brothers and sisters sleep high above on the very top floor. Your skis, snowshoes and ice skates would be placed under the lowest balcony by the entry door and your homemade cheese stored in the cellar. If you lived here, you'd need to scramble up a ladder to get to the hidden rooftop opening to enter your house. Instead of logs, your house would be built of adobe clay and it would share walls with other homes to create a structure up to five storeys high that from a distance would look like a village. If unwelcome visitors appeared, you could pull the ladder up behind you. If you lived here, you could get up from your bed in the main house, have breakfast in the back house kitchen and then walk to the barn without ever having to go outside. The connecting rooms make it possible for you to take care of your animals without having to trudge through the deep snow and howling winds of winter. Doors would prevent the cows, goats, chickens and geese from coming to visit you. If you lived here, your bedroom would be inside a mountain. The front of your house with its windows and doors would hide the fact that your home is actually a cave dwelling. A chimney from the kitchen would poke up from the hillside above and if another room was needed, your family could just carve one out of the interior's soft rock. Then you would be among the 45 million troglodytes, cave dwellers, living in the world today. If you lived here, you could catch fish from your bedroom window. Tall and strong wooden stilts would hold your house high above the rising tides of an inlet of the Pacific Ocean. At high tide, you could hop on a boat and visit a friend. At low tide, you could walk around the base of the stilts to gather crabs or watch pelicans glide overhead in their own search for fish. If you lived here, you would step directly from your front door onto a boat to go to school. Your neighbourhood would be on a man-made island, barely above sea level, with a network of canals filled with all types of boat traffic instead of cars, bicycles and buses. The floors of the three upper storeys of your house are made of wood and tile, but the floor of the bottom storey is water. If you lived here, you'd have to cross three drawbridges to get into your house, called a chateau. Once inside, you would have endless corridors with dozens of rooms to run through and seven towers to climb, from which you could see for miles. In the surrounding pond, called a moat, you could row alongside paddling ducks and swans and over swimming frogs and turtles. If you lived here, you would always have your friends at home to play with you because your huge round house would be home to dozens of families. Your family's own living and sleeping rooms would be on the upper levels while cooking and laundry would be shared with others on the ground level. The interior rooms face inward onto courtyards and only the two top floors have exterior windows. 
if you lived here, you could run downstairs to the ground floor to get your pretzels and fresh baked bread from your mum and dad's bakery. Your home would be separated from neighbouring houses with walls that extend from the foundation to the very steep roof. From your bedroom under this roof, you could awaken to the sounds of cuckoos in nearby forests and the bustle of street activity below. If you lived here, how would you find your home when so many look alike? The colour of the door and railing, flower pots on the stairs, or your father standing on the balcony would help you spot your house. These cubed shaped houses seem to sit on top of each other as they mount up a steep hill. Because streets are often used like outdoor rooms, you might have to dart across a tiny lane to go from your bedroom to the kitchen. If you lived here, your brightly decorated home would be easy to find. With a brush of your fingertips and lots of colours, you and your mother and sisters would have painted the outside walls of your house in bold geometric patterns and shapes that look like flowers, leaves and birds. Each house facade in your village is decorated by its family and each has its own recognisable expression, just like a person's face. If you lived here, you could move with your family and bring your house, called a yurt, along with you. Easily taken down in an hour, a yurt is made of parts light enough for a family's horses or yaks to carry to new grazing grounds, where they are reassembled. Although the outside felt wall surrounds one large room, the yurt can be subdivided into smaller living spaces. If you lived here, you could travel with your family from Alaska all the way to Florida and always be at home. Tucked inside this trailer are fold-away beds, a small kitchen, a tiny bathroom, a sofa, chairs and cabinets filled with food. At your doorstep you could have a campfire at Denali National Park in Alaska or spot an alligator in the Everglades of Florida. If you lived here, you could see the sunrise from your bedroom window, feel your house rotate and later see the sun set from the same window using two steering wheels when you can turn your floating house to get a different view. When you want to get ashore, just scoot over on a 20 foot long metal gangway. If you lived here in the cool of the trees, you and your friends could be high above the ground away from your parents, brothers and sisters. With a strong tree in your backyard and with whatever scrap materials you can find, boards, old windows and doors, used furniture, canvas, a homemade ladder, you can build your tree house to look whatever way you like. When you finish it and climb inside with your flashlight and sleeping bag, You'll be among the squirrels and woodpeckers and feel right at home.